Shabbat Shalom and welcome, not to our virtual, because virtual implies it's not really happening, but welcome to our streaming video services for this Shabbat. And can you believe we made it another week, my friends? We can do this. We can do this. But I have to say that I think coming together on Shabbat is such an important part of getting through these weeks. So thank you for joining me as well. We'll, of course, be using Mishkan Tefillah, our Reform Prayer Book, which opens from right to left. So please feel free to join us as we'll call out pages during the service. We begin with Maya Fehayom on page 128. Continue with Lecha Dodi on pages 138 and 139.
continue the lighting of our Shabbat candles on pages 120 and 121. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us, as their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. tradition. As we welcome Shabbat, Shabbat, I invite you to welcome, if anyone's with you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom, even if you have a four-legged member of your family with you right now, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. We continue with Baruch Hu, please rise if you're able, but you're at home, you could do whatever you want, as we continue with Baruch Hu. Page 146. Continue on page 149. Please join me if you're able. Praise to Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, for whom the evening flows, Baruch Ata Adonai HaMa'ariv Aravim. Page 150. <laughs>
invite you to join us in taking a deep breath in and exhaling out as we continue with Shema on pages 152 and 153. Continue on page 154 with Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha Ve'hayu harvarim ha'ele Asher anuchi metzavecha Hayom alevavecha, vishinantam levanecha, vidibarta bam, bishivtecha, bevetecha, uvlechtecha, vaderech, uvshoch becha, uvkumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, vehayule totafot, bene necha. Uchtavtam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha leman tiskeru vaasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kiroshim lelohechem ani Adonai lohechem asher hotzeiti etchem meeretz mitzrayim. Liot lachem lelohim, ani Adonai Elohechem. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai your God. We continue responsively on page 157. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say out an eye, there's one God in heaven and earth. The, the high, high heavens, heavens declare your glory. glory. May, May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. 
inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keep it alive in dark ages, your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. We continue with Micha Mocha on page 158. And 61, let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up, waiting to do your will. Baruch ata Adonai, ha sukat shalom aleinu, v'akol amo Yisrael v'al Yerushalayim. We continue on page 162 with the Shamru. <laughs> Continue now the central portion of our worship with our tefillah on pages 164, 166, and 168. Please rise if you are able.
Avinu, Ve'imoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor Vehanora, El Elyon, Komel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chastei Avot, Ve'imahot, Umevi Geula Livne Benehem, Lema'an Shemo Be'ahava, Melech Ozer Umoshia Umagin, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magin Avraham, Be'ezra Tzara. Ata Gibor Le'olam Adonai, Mechaye Hakol Ata Rav Le'hoshia, Ma'ashiv Ha'ruach Moril Ha'ashem, Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim, Somech Noflim Berofe Cholim, Umatir Asurim, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. מי חמוך בעל גבורות ומי דומה לך, מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע. ונאמן אתה להחיות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני. Page 171. Days pass and the years vanish, and we walk sightless among miracles. God, fill our eyes with seeing and our minds with knowing. Let there be moments when your presence, like lightning, illumines the darkness in which we walk. Help us to see wherever we gaze that the bush burns unconsumed, and we, clay touched by God, will reach out for the holiness and exclaim in wonders, how filled with awe is this place, and we did not know it. Bless is the Eternal One, the Holy God. Baruch atadonai ha'el ha'kadosh. Page 175, we join together. You are with us in our prayer, our love, and our doubt, and our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still, clear voice within us. Therefore, O God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble, when pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There may we find you, and there find courage, insight, and endurance, and let our worship bring us closer to one another, that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Baruch ata Adonai, she'otcha levadcha b'ir'a na'avod. We continue on page 178 with Shalom Rav. Shalom Rav al Israel. Oh, <laughs> 
invite you to join me in taking a deep breath in and exhaling out. And as we breathe in now, I invite you to feel that sense of connection that we must feel even during these difficult times. And exhale out all that fear that you're feeling right now. Another deep breath in as you breathe in that sense of Shabbat peace. And exhale out Mishagas. As we pause now in silent reflection. I want to be alone, one of my favorite lines from a very famous movie. And boy, be careful what you ask for. Oy vey is mare. Are we alone right now, huh? This is just crazy that here we are. This is actually the fourth Shabbat that we are not together in our synagogue. Our third one, at least, that we've had this video opportunity for those of us at home able to watch this. But I have to say, this week's Torah portion seems to call out right now for this very moment. It's actually the beginning of the third book of the Torah, Vaikra, which is the book of Leviticus. And in here, we really begin what we call the Holiness Code. And it's a very important part of our Torah. In fact, the word for holy mean is kadosh in Hebrew. And that verbal root is kuf dalid shin. Now, we often translate that as holy, but actually the root, the shoresh itself, means to set apart. And it's interesting that a part of holiness was to set the Jewish people or the Israelites apart from others. Most of us in the Reform movement have rejected that element of holiness. But I want to call our attention to the direct translation of Kadosh for this particular Torah portion because I think it really sets for us a very important lesson this week that we need to think about. So the idea for us to be set apart is what makes us holy is a very interesting concept if you think about it. Because on some level, setting yourself apart is so hard to do. We're doing that right now as community. We're setting ourselves apart. And it's so very difficult not to have that interaction with people all the time that we're so used to. But here's the thing. If our tradition talks about kadosh as setting ourselves apart, we need to understand what that means. On some level, that means that as Jews, we are to be a light unto the nations, to help make the world a better place. So setting apart from that perspective feels a little bit better. But I also think that the, that the idea of holiness, of kadosh, is really not about setting apart from another, but recognizing within us there's different elements of ourselves that we need to set apart. We have our physicality, we have our mental psyche, and we have that spirit, that soul. This is a time for us to practice the art of setting apart our soul, our spirit from the rest of us. Meaning, it may sound a little crazy, but I think it's so important for us to be able to, if you will, disconnect from the physical world around us, to, if you will, get within yourself, and to feel that sense of holiness. So often we attribute actions or objects to holiness, when we know as Reformed Jews that holiness really is about you and I. We are Kli Kodesh. We are vessels of holiness in our actions and in what we do. But so often, like I said, we connect that to actions that we're doing for someone else or things that we do even that are more external or materialistic. Well, right now during this time, we need to really work on finding that sense of holiness within us. So I invite you to work on this week meditation. Each day, join me for 10, 15 minutes, whatever you could do in the morning, or whenever it works for you, to just sit with your thoughts and to take a deep breath in and breathe out. And as you've heard me say many times, including the service tonight, I want you to breathe in that sense of shalom, of wholeness and completeness, and exhale out mishagas, difficulties, fear, 
all those other voices in our head, like how long is this really gonna go? What are we gonna do in four months? What's gonna happen to our economy? What's gonna happen? We can't keep doing that. Let us on this Shabbat commit ourselves this week to looking at the Kadosh, that sense of holiness within us. Because that is all we have time to do right now. So let's take advantage of this wonderful opportunity to find that sense of Kadosh within us. I so look forward to seeing you in person at some point, and I just want to remind you that I am available. Please contact me if you need a sense of connection or if you want to work on a more meditative practice together. Shabbat Shalom. We continue with Elenu on page 586. Please rise if you're able. Alenu the Shabbat Adon Hakol, La Tait Gidula Leotse Breshit, Shevuno Teshamayim Veil Seraretz, Umosha Vikaro Bashamayim Vimal. Ushina to Zobeg of Hemer Homin, who Elohe nu enod, Vanach nu korim, Umishta havi modim, Lifne melech, Malache hamlachim, Akadosh baruchu, Venemar, Vehayarona, Melech al Kolha. We now focus our energies toward those who are ill and in need of healing, be that a physical, mental, or spiritual healing. On this Shabbat, we think of Jason Adams, Adam Barish, Chana Bat Miriam, Ilana Bat Chana, Tony Berliner, Dr. Arnold Berliner, Robert Berg, Barbara Berlant, Sarah Beinstock, Sandy Beinstock, Rich Burns, Esther Burton, Simone Cardinet, Mal Kosman, Hadley Crane, Rebecca Lindecker, Elise Epstein, Peter Fadham, Jason Fishoff, Carolyn Franklin, Sandy Friedman, Jennifer Guerrera, Courtney Hansen, Lee Henderson, Celeste Hutchinson, Barbara Jackowitz, Evelyn Katz McCosker, Jerry Kane, Petrus Lacey, Leah Tzvia Batliba Ve Elchanan, Janice Lucero, Young Song Lot, Father Bill Leninger, Shirley Lerner, Gary Levine, Penny Levine, Austin Lucero, Patrick McCluskey, Eva Misley, Peggy Monroe, Melanie Pearson, Judy Pell, Carol Ross, Marilyn Rudy, Richard Rusnak, Dolores Sams Hoy, Laura Sanders, Marilyn Silver, Sybil Summer, Donna Thyman, Pham Tai Trang, Ann Thompson, Martha Walker, Teresa Walsh, Claire Cecil Watson, Jeannie Watson, Nancy Weisenfeld, Dana Williams, Karen Williams, Sue Witten, Sherman Wong. As we now continue praying for their better health as we join together in Misha Berach.
On this Shabbat, we especially think of those members of our community who have died recently or in years past. We especially think of our beloved Bert Epstein who died this past week, a pillar of this community, someone who has meant so much to all of us. Me personally, I love this man so much, and I'm so, so sorry that Sandy Epstein and her family aren't able to have a funeral at this moment, but we are all thinking of her and the family as we loved Bert so much. We also think of those that are grieving the Shloshim, the 30-day period of mourning for Nancy Pfister, Susan Hammer, Seema Jaffe, Glenn Farber. We as well think of those that are grieving the Shana, the first year of mourning for Rabbi Samuel Brody, Carrie Broden, Laura Bruckheimer, Alexander Burstein, Stephen Ronnie Bush, Dr. Bernard Cohen, Vivian David, Jean Donnelly, Michael Dubrow, Marie Edwards, Mark Emanuel, Jackie Fazio, Marvin Fox, Angela Gold, Melvin Grant, Lorna Hoffman, Joan Hammer, Erwin Jacobson, Dolores Jaffe, Lori Kaplan, Brana Reuven Kate, Howard Kaufman, Vera Kessler, Rabbi Peter Noble, Lori LeMay, Morton Levine, Ray Levine, Ted Lewis, Judy Siegler Lieberson, John Myers, Irene Neal, Edith Rosenberg, Barbara Rudnecki, Marion Pattison, Victor Ratner, Fred Retchen, David Reisner, Leo Rinsler, Ron Roth, Karina Salzman, Lorraine Samuel, Jane Schwartz, Art Silver, Sophie Siemens, Alice Glar, Sandra Sokolek, Bruce Summer, Bernard Spillman, Joan Rusnak Weinberg, Jill Warnack. We also think of the following yard sites that we observe on this particular Shabbat as we think of High Alkin, Judith Biro, Ruth Boxer, Martin Bryman, Bessie Cohen, Irene Danziger, David Emanuel, Leonard Ehrlichman, Morton Feynman, Samuel Fink. Ethel Fredkin, Samuel M. Gambord, Edith Ratner Hoffman, Henry Hoffman Jacobs, Marlene Jaffe, Sam Joseph, Rose Cass, Renee Lorraine Catcher, Rose K., Robert K., Murray Knopf, Samuel Crystal, Herschel Lurie, Beatrice Malter, Paul Mermel, Aaron Messinger, Virginia Migdahl, Ann Miller, Adele Barbara Miller, Robert Morse, Marie Nadler, Jeanette H. Penkovac, Jeanette H. Penkovic, Renee Price, Herb Price, Sally Ratner, Sylvia Rosen, Sarah Rosenberg, Esther Rebecca Rosenblum, Sarah Rosenthal, Ahuva Roth, Thyra Selig, Leonard Siegel, Jeanette Schumer, Stephen Kent Terran, Lucy Wargon, Arnold Widman, William Wood, Clyde Worthington, Misha Zeltzer. Zichronam Livracha, may the memories of all of our loved ones endure as a blessing. We continue on page 598 with Kadish Shatom, our mourner's Kaddish. Yit Kadal ve Yit Kadash me Rabba, ve Alma divra chirute ve Amlich malchute, ve Chayechon of Yomechon, ve Chaye de Chol be Israel. Bagala vuzman kari vimru amen. Yehe shme rabba mevorach leolam olme almaya. Yit barach vishtabach vit paar vit romam vit nase. Vit adar vit ale vit alal shme de kudesha brechu. Leolam miko berchata vishirata. Tush berchata venechemata. Da amiran belma vimru amen. Yehe shlomo rabba meshemaya. Vechayim alenu va kol Israel. Vimru Amen. O se shalom bimro mav, huya se shalom, alenu va kol Israel, kodam vimru.
Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who are grieved among us, or wherever they may be, as we say together, Amen. Conclude with a song for peace, O say shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.